Good day, my name is Emma. This next tutorial is all about code signing. I hear you thinking, what's that all about? Well, when you make an executable file, you might sign it with a digital signature. Otherwise, Windows Defender will delete the file and put it in your virus vault. The file is secured when it is digital signed. We will use Sign Tool to do that. So let's get started. You will find all the links in the description area below. First you need Windows Software Development Kit, well known as SDK. You can check if you have it installed here. Go to Settings Programs and Apps, Apps and Features. Scroll down and look for Windows SDK. If you haven't installed it yet, you should download it. This can be done on the Microsoft website. The URL is in the description below. Once you have downloaded the installation file, click Run. Leave the default settings. You don't need the complete package, only Windows Application Verifier and Windows App Certification Kit. Click Install. The file is only 163 megabytes in size. When the installation is done, you will see it in your apps and features. Next, search the folder under your C drive, Program Files x86, Windows Kit, 10, App Certification Kit, scroll down, and there is the file sign tool exe. This is the file you need. Copy and paste the file into your folder. Right click your file and check properties. You will see that there are only five tabs. Next, open PowerShell. Copy your folder path. Type cd and paste the path of your folder and enter so just type dollar sign cert space equal sign new dash self sign certificate dash subject your exe file dash cert store location quotation mark cert colon backslash current user backslash my and again a quotation mark then space dash hash algorithm space sha 256 space dash type space code signing then press enter the second input line is dollar sign pwd equals sign convert to dash secure string space dash string space quotation marks your password and again quotation marks space dash force space dash as plain text and press enter next the third input so type export dash pfx certificate space dash cert space dollar cert space dash file path space your file dot pfx space dash password space dollar pwd and again press enter now you will see in your folder there is a new file with the same name of your executable file but with a pfx extension that is your certification key as a final step we are going to sign your exe file with this key. Though, the next command line does not work for some kind of bizarre reason in PowerShell, but it does in the CMD prompt. So open CMD as administrator. Just like in PowerShell, copy the path of your folder in the CMD prompt. Then type sign tool.exe space sign space slash f space your file.pfx space slash fd space SHA-256, space, slash, P, space, your password, space, your file.exe, and press enter. If all went well, a message has appeared. Your file has been successfully signed. If you are going to look at your file's properties now, you will see that a tab has been added called Digital Signatures. Click Details. Notice the Digital Signature information. The certificate is not trusted yet. Let's do something about this. Go back to the CMD terminal and type sign tool.exe space timestamp 
space dash t space http colon slash slash timestamp dot digicert dot com space and the name of your executable file dot exe press enter now the certificate is digitally signed with a timestamp but there is still the fact that the certificate is not trusted We need to import the certificate. Click the certificate and say yes to the question do you want to install your certificate. When it is done, you will get the message pop up. The import is completed. Press OK. No finally, check your file properties. In the Digital Signatures tab, select Digital Signature, Details. You will see that the certificate is trusted. In this case with an expiration date set till 2033. So, that's it. Your executable file is now digitally signed and trusted in your Microsoft Windows system, and will not be removed by Windows Defender. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to like or push the subscribe button. It means really a lot to me. Goodbye.